What is up everyone, especially my ARG fam. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another video on the channel. So if you haven't watched my recent short video announcement, you can go watch it right up here. This is a follow-up from that video and I'm going to be explaining to you all more in detail on why I'm changing my hair color and the reasons why I want to change my hair color to golden brown or light brown in color. Truth be told, I'm actually a little bit heavy-hearted right now to part with my blue hair because I've had this blue hair for about 6 months already and it's been a really long time, half a year to be exact and I am deciding to change my hair color now is because I feel that some change can be good and brown hair is much more easier to maintain compared to blue hair and don't worry if you miss me in blue hair because good news is that light brown hair is able to receive color in a darker shade so you may see me in dark blue hair or dark red hair or any other darker hair colors in the future if I'm willing to try and I hope that you all enjoy those videos as well so without further ado, let's get started so if any of you are following this video step by step the very first step I want to make sure that you all have is that your hair color is actually faded out if not, wait a few more washes because you don't want the existing color pigments to affect the entire result if not, your hair may actually turn out a different color than the color that you're going for for in my case, it's brown so I have actually not dyed my hair blue for at least a week or two already the second thing I want you all to make sure is that you are protecting yourself so now I'm going to be changing my shirt Okay, so this shirt is actually the one that I wear every time I dye my hair because it has been stained before and you want to wear a shirt that you are not going to use anymore and also I'll be showing you how I protect my ears and my face later on before I apply the bleach and the dye and I hope you all can follow these steps so that you can protect yourself and make sure that everything is safe and sound Hey guys, so I know this is a little bit random because you're seeing me with a dark hair right now and it's black It's been more than a month since I actually dyed my hair and the reason is because the blue hair that I tried to bleach out wasn't successful so I took a break from hair dyeing because I tried bleaching my hair like two times in two weeks so that is to cut the long story short and so I went to actually bleach out my hair as you can tell and right now as you can see my hair is actually greenish in color so right now I'm going to be applying this dark brown dye over here to cover up the green parts so and progressively i hope to get the light brown that i want after washing out because my hair right now is really dry so i will want to restore my hair health first before i consider going lighter but today after letting my hair wet, i think i'm going to be trying again and i hope it's successful and if it is you'll definitely be seeing on my channel right now so without further ado i'm going to be trying my best to get to that golden brown so that i can also give you guys some tips to avoid the mistakes that i I did. Alright, so let's get to it. Hey guys, so right now I'm in my house bathroom and I'm going to be mixing the developer over here which is 40 volume or 12% hydrogen peroxide and also the bleach powder into the mixing bowl and I'll be showing you guys the solution soon. So right now I'm going to be mixing all of the solution as you can tell from the video and I'm hoping that this bleach will be better than the Gatsby bleach that I use because every time I use the Gatsby bleach it wasn't very good and if you're wondering why this part of my hair is lighter than the other parts is because I actually used this bleach once and it was quite successful as you can tell from the small strip of hair that I used so I'm more confident that this time around it will be much more successful and I will definitely hope to see the result that I want as well. So I'm going to be applying this bleach right now and for the sake of this video I'm going to be speeding it up so you guys won't be too bored and I will be showing you all the results later on. So let's get started. So for the application of the bleach, like always, I am starting with my ends and I will progressively move down to my roots. The reason I'm doing this is because the ends take a longer time for the bleach to process and you don't want to end up with hot roots in the event you start with your roots. That is because the roots will be lighter than your ends and it just isn't a good overall look. Right now, I would also like to take the chance to briefly explain why it wasn't successful when I tried to bleach out my blue hair. I realized after a while that bleaching out your hair from a light color to another light color isn't that straightforward and simple and hence I had to dye my hair darker and bleach it out again now. So hey guys, I'm done applying the bleach to my hair. I'm going to be letting it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes and I'm going to be washing off and if the color is bright enough and is able to allow the light brown dye to be put onto my hair, I will do it on. Hey everyone, I just finished washing off the bleach from my hair and right now as you can see, my hair isn't very even out because I believe that some of the green dye that you saw in the picture earlier was actually being bleached out and 
looks a bit ash brown and it looks very uneven that's why I'm going to be applying the dye right now so I have my mixing bowl over here with the brown dye solution as you can tell I'm going to be applying it all over my hair right now starting with the roots so I hope it's enough if not I have to go and get more So to be honest, I would actually like to stop at this step if possible after bleaching out my hair. However, my hair isn't exactly even out with the dye so I'm using the brown dye to evenly mix out the hair and to get the light brown effect that I want. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me all the way. I hope you guys enjoy the effect and learn something from this video as much as I did. Hey everyone, so I actually finished applying the brown dye on my hair right now and similar step to what I did with the bleach I'm applying the shower cap again and what I'm going to be doing is to allow the natural heat on my scalp to speed up the process of allowing the brown dye to be received by my hair and I believe that in about 30 to 45 minutes I'll be removing the shower cap and be washing my hair out and afterwards I'll show you all the results so stay tuned guys it's going to be over soon so hey everyone, I already finished washing out the dye and as you can tell, it is a really nice golden brown effect that I have over here. And this was really the hair color that I wanted from the start. So I'm really happy and also yeah. glad that it turned out this way because I've been trying a few times and to give you a summary of what happened was that when I had the blue hair, I tried to bleach it out but it didn't work out, it became greenish in color so I didn't really have any blue dye at that time to cover everything up. So I decided to dye my hair black for a period of time. When I made one or two videos on this and you will be able to see it soon but I took a break from hair dyeing afterwards and then I decided to bleach my hair about a month of not dyeing my hair at all and it was a success so if you have forgotten I actually used BTS Jungkook's picture over here as a reference and I believe that the shade of hair is quite similar to his so I'm going to be using silver shampoo and wait for my hair to fade out a little maybe it will become a bit more silvery because silver shampoo adds some pigments to my hair and also allow the fading process to be less drastic. I hope you all are able to stay with me on this channel. Thank you all so much for the support recently. I really appreciate all of you that have been joining the channel and supporting me. I believe that you're going to be excited for the new videos I'm making and I hope that you all can continue to be on the journey with me. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all in my next video.